get the anger driving it. Need a hand here. I'm sure these satellites will not be in Come on, any up these stairs. way damaged by all code. this dust over here. It'll be fine. Satellites are, are are well known for being able to withstand all manner of dust, debris, and um, other sorts of granular interference. That, I mean, after all, that's why they assembled them in clean there, and out and load them onto rockets in clean rooms and all. Is because they're not worried about all the dust. Watch it below us. Alright, which way are you going? Also, I played a flank of this way too, but I otherwise I just took on the direct assault. <laughs> oh well. That's a problem with areas designed for flanking and tactics is if you don't notice it or if it's designed to make it so it's kind of not entirely obtrusive, you miss it. That's fine. We'll live. We like we did live. They did. Way through over here. There it is. Let's keep up. Paddock, Bear, we're escorting the satellites back to the hangar now. Good. We're still decrypting these old files, but we're making progress. Head out to your skiff. We'll find your rockets soon enough. All right. We're on our way. Why our tag? Uh, 
I know where I'm going. Jack, we need some light. Site will hold loading hook up there. Over this way, if there's any more pickups. Like this one! Aha! Uh, Eight? Yep. Nine. Or that stealth upgrade I want. One to go. Come on. Once we're back in the hangar, we can work our way outside. Ooh. Pick up. That is an interesting lead. That is definitely someone who is like, okay, we're gonna need some help. You're a hot a hard war to the bitter end. Over there. making a lot of okay satellites are safe and sound if we want to get out of here we should cross to the other side that's not the way back across we want to go down yes but there's an ammo pickup over here and I need that right now. Grenade crate. More Lancer ammo. Well, otherwise, I'm pretty good.
I smell ambush. Over there! Incoming! <laughs> Oi! What the hell is that? It's a carrier! And it's not alone! Back up! Back up! Spread out! Don't let it drop us in! Just keep firing! Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Our way out's above us. Let's oh. get up there. Flame jets worked out alright. Well, Ultra Plug would work out pretty well, too. I'm kind of impressed by how that turned out. We'll go back for a second. Just so pick, pick up some mist. Uh, there's a boom shot over here I could have used. Kind of neat looking around the arena. Oh, and there's that one there. We've gone further in. The shock chart probably was the most used there. And of course, they did this by the door, because you recognize you used a whole bunch of ammo getting here. There's an ammo pickup. Jack, get the doors open. Lift! This way! Everyone get on! so difficult. Hmm. Let's see. Scientists. Rocket scientists. And anyone who's used the expression, <laughs> it's not rocket science. What do you think? We just push a button mark to launch? Oh, I see. Yeah. Pick on the handsome one. Cut him down to size. So, we're back across. And for the record, <laughs> I'm the handsome one, okay? Hi, yes, we're almost out of you here. and your bold yes. symbol of Caucasian heteronormity. The There's a rail bridge blocking the way, but don't worry. My people will raise it for you. So, out in the desert, find train tracks. Then you'll know you're on the right path. Copy that. All right, let's head for the skiff. You know, 
All this time I thought I was the handsome one. Oh dear God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is the perfect reaction to all their nonsense. For a walk for a second. Probably a cutscene on the other side of this passage. Nope, we're like, nope, we're just we're just block masking for a, masking a loading. Still there? I got a question for you. Oh, I'm on lunch break. Of course I'm still here. I do appreciate he's actually exactly got a something he's got attacked with his mouthful. The usual problems faced by 200 dedicated patriots trying to defeat 3,000 cowards. You know, you could just have agreed to the armistice and spared a lot of lives. A Groznian proverb for you. A just war is better than an unjust peace. So, just exactly how many Garaznian proverbs justify war? Eh, most of them. I kind of whole situation of a just war versus an unjust peace. Pretty complicated conversation in the first place. Let's head out. There we go. Children, one more thing. The bridge controls weren't networked, so the base commander's virus didn't affect them. But the bridge itself hasn't been lifted in decades. What are you saying? You worried about your people not being able to raise it? No, they'll handle it. But that bridge, it's old and rusty and... Ugh. Just, when you're beneath it, don't linger. Copy that. All right, you heard him. Let's head for the bridge. So, this Paddock. How does Baird even know him? Apparently, Paddock served in the COG for a while. Really? That guy was COG. When? Uh, unclear. They didn't seem that eager to talk about it either. Parked a little further up and facing in the other direction. Gotcha. All right, where am I going? Come on, let's get past the bridge and over to that turntable. All right. All right, over here. We may get another scavenger's mission on the way. I'm gonna take a short break. Then when I get back, I will return to re return to streaming. Get the next area done bit of a deficit. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.